In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I do and why I do what I do. I'm also going to be recut recapping a little bit about the Madden Classic, what I took away from my first weekend here in the Madden Classic. Uh, I was able to qualify on both consoles to be able to move into the next round, so hopefully we'll be able to get in the lab this week and be effective this weekend. But if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I'm going to talk about in today's video, be sure to text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But for those of you that don't know, my name is Cody, and my channel is all about simply getting better at this game. That's what we're trying to accomplish here on the channel. And if you want to get better um, alongside of me, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and consider clicking the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I believe that this channel is going to help you get better because we study pro players all the time. We, we, study, um, we, we study, obviously, the game in practice mode just like anybody else and find our own stuff as well. And we are just simply trying to get better at this game. So, again, if you want to get better, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. So I wanted to really quickly recap a little bit about the Madden Classic as we jump into this Inside the Mind gameplay and talk a little bit about what I took away. Um, the first thing that I wanted to hit on is that I feel like from overall, Madden Classic was a lot of fun. Uh, we had uh, one of my good friends, Glenn, from our channel, um, ca casting the games, and he did a phenomenal, phenomenal job um, with the commentating and the casting. And so that was a lot of fun to have that element to the channel. Um, so big shout out to Glenn. The second thing that I wanted to hit on um, is as far as like what did we take away that we need to improve on. Well, the first thing that we need to improve on, I believe, is a little bit more of, you know, just simply, um, not necessarily adjustments, but really more of understanding, you know, kind of what our user is supposed to do formation to formation. Um, I felt like I came up with my, my one loss on the PlayStation side of things. Um, I, I ran up against an offense that I honestly had not seen yet. And it was insanely, insanely effective. It was very, very well ran, um, and it was very, very effective as well. And so it was basically the trio offset formation, which we're going to be doing some, some breakdowns on that down the road. But essentially, what what the what the offense boils around and really centers around is it has a very good ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage with. Um, Devontae Adams because essentially what they're able to do is they're able to get Devontae Adams who has the route technician ability at the tight end position and so they're able to run him on um, corner routes and post routes and C routes because of his outside apprentice and so some really really good lab work uh, by that offense and that offense gave me a ton of trouble in the classic. Another thing that I really um, took away was you have to and I really believe in this you have to, if you're going to be good at competitive Madden, I believe you have to, have to, have to have a very simple plan. You can't have a very complex plan because the, the games themselves move super, super fast. Um, and you're playing high level competition, so they're going to be, you know, they're going to be doing a good job at adjusting and doing different things like that to put themselves in a good position to win the game. So you have to anticipate. Number one, that everyone already knows what you know. You're not going to come to a competitive Madden tournament and run up against somebody that doesn't know what you know. And so what's really important is, I believe, not to reinvent the wheel. You don't want to run things that you haven't practiced unless you absolutely have to. Um, and what I mean by that is my strategy is I never run a play that I have not practiced yet in practice mode or in regs or in a game mode. And the reason why is because I truly believe that if you just try, there was a couple of times in the classic um, this last weekend where I would run, I just thought I saw something, right? And I would try to, you know, maybe put this zone here or run this coverage without this, this safe protection here. And it was like every time that I tried to do, not necessarily innovate, because you want to innovate, but every time that I tried to do something that I had not practiced prior to the Classic, it wasn't really that good. And uh, it ended up costing me big time in a couple of key, key games. So the reason I say that is to say that you have to stick to your game plan. You can't deviate. If you deviate, you only want to deviate if you absolutely have to, meaning you're down and you have to come up with something, right? Also, another thing is you have to assume, again, not only do you have to assume that everybody knows as much as you, but I believe that you have to a little bit assume that you know as much as everybody else. 
And so what I mean by that is whenever you play someone that's a big name, maybe you play Noah or maybe you play, um, you know, um, Problem or Dubby or Civil or any of these really, really good Madden players, one of the things that I'm guilty of is you always think that they know more than you do. And maybe that's even true to an extent, but what it, it almost like literally psychs yourself out. Like you had a game plan going into the game. Like my cover four defense, I believe, is probably the best defense right now in Madden as you see it get me the interception there, you have a game plan going into the game, but because you're playing a pro player, right, then you change that because you think it could not possibly work against a professional Madden player. And I would tell you that, you know, there is some truth to, to at least acknowledging that, you know, the best players in the world are going to know a little bit more than you. But there's also some truth into realizing, like, trust yourself, trust your preparation. And if you trust your preparation, I think you're going to find it, it truly comes down to, and this is just my two cents um, and what I took away, and this is where I've got to be better in the, next, in the coming weeks, where I really struggled, honestly, was when I simply didn't execute. It is all about execution. And so if you, as long as you execute your game plan, you will win. Um, if you don't execute, you won't win. It's that simple. And I know that you're going to say, well, you know, how could you possibly... It's like saying, like, think about this for a second, okay? The number... The, the best offense and the best defense in the game. Um, right now, if you were to do a poll, you would find that majority of people that played in the Madden Classic ran one of two offenses. They either ran troops tied in or they ran gun bunch, and they maybe sprinkled in uh, a little bit of bunch tied in in that as well. Right? That's that's pretty much what I saw, and that's pretty much what I think a lot of people saw. Okay? That was pretty much the meta, right? The, 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 the what of what people ran. So, knowing that, okay, knowing that for a second, that does not mean that just because, you know, just because so-and-so is running bunch doesn't mean you can't, right? Um, if you, you, you know, it's like you watch the Madden Club Championships... And one of the things that you'll find out pretty quickly is the majority of people in the... I think every person, with the exception of D. Croft, ran bunch or trips tied in in the Madden Club Championships. So if I'm, you know, if I'm uh, Pavin, right, I know Jay Wall's running trips tied in. I know it. I know he's running trips tied in. I'm Pavin, and I know everything about the game because I'm a full-time Madden player, Right? I'm always practicing, I'm always labbing, I'm always getting better. Right, that, That's the reality for, for someone like Pavin. So the question then remains, well, how did Pavin get beat by Trips tied in? Because he already knew everything that J-Wall was going to do before J-Wall did it. Right? The reason that Pavin lost is has nothing to do with a knowledge gap. Right? Just like the reason that Patrick Mahomes lost to Tom Brady had nothing to do with a talent gap. It simply had to do with execution. And the way that you get better at execution, this is just my personal opinion, one of the ways that you get better at executing is play uh, running the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Repetition breeds um, mastery and execution because you've repped it over and over. And this is a principle that I took from the air raid, right? You guys may remember back in the beginning of the season, I was writing a lot of just air raid concepts. I have a full ebook out on Arizona talking about the air raid offense and how to, how to run that in Madden 21. And the biggest takeaway for me from the air raid was essentially keep it simple and rep the same things over and over again. Every air raid offense does this. Every single air raid offense well, it is 100% about execution. It's 100% about reps. I believe the same thing applies to Madden. So, anyways, it's the same on both offense and defense, right? Um, I was watching a coaching clinic with the TCU um, defense, and, and, and you guys know that I've been running a lot of cover four. Um, and so because I've been running a lot of cover four, you know, that's kind of what TCU does. They run cover four. That's what they do on defense. They're known for their 4-2-5 cover four scheme. Well, you know, for me, I was studying the match coverages and just wanting to learn a little bit more about them. And as I dove into these match coverages, what I found was that cover four, cover four match, um, or that TCU, I'm sorry, 
probably one of the best defensive, most innovative defenses in college football. They literally run three to four plays primarily. They may tag it with some blitzes here and there, but essentially it's three to four things. They run halves, quarters, and I can't remember the last one that they run. Okay, but anyway, I just want you to take away from this video, and I hope you hear me loud and clear. If you want to get my ebooks, they're in the description. The best stuff has been written. The question is, can you execute it, right? And so that's why, obviously, there's adjustments and things like that that you need to know. But once you know those, it comes down to execution. So my biggest suggestion to you is you want to get better at Madden. Master your scheme, simplify it, and master it, and execute it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.